Argyle! You know when we're getting paid for this? Is it a bi-weekly or a monthly sort of thing? I've been meaning to ask. Why don't you tell us? You've been working here longer than we have. Yeah. Don't you get caught up in this anyway? Why did you decide to work for Dr. Disaster? It's not a particularly interesting story. I used to run with a gang of drug dealers. I didn't make the drugs, I just protected the cookers. And then we shot you. Ah, but the gang is gone now. And everyone who survived the purge went their separate ways. Now I'm doing this to pay my student loans. <laughs> I'd rather not talk about my old gang if at all possible. They weren't the nicest people to outsiders. But mm -hmm. they took care of their own. No, they didn't. This seems like a pretty dangerous job. I mean, we did already kill a thing that imitates your greatest fears. Which was apparently a death law. I thought it was going to turn into a boat propeller. You got any advice for staying alive around here? Not really. Pretty much everything here will kill you. Though it's usually a good idea to avoid the underbelly. You'll get lost pretty easily there. Other than that, just look before you leap. This place is filled with all kinds of nasty surprises to the uninitiated. The hell does he mean look be- You can't look before you leap. You can only leap and then look. Ex now that explains a lot. You got an interesting name. Wasn't it the same one you had before the war? Nah, it's new. Since we lived for a pretty long time, many ghouls change their names periodically. Names get old after a few hundred years, you know? I got mine from a radio show I heard while passing through the Capital Wasteland. It was like some kind of adventure tale. Some old dude and his ghoul companion. I know that one. His stalwart manservant, Argyle. I like the ghoul's name, so I took it. I don't think he's a real guy, so he probably wouldn't mind. So I've been Argyle ever since. Uh, any interesting places you recommend checking out? Of course, bud. In the middle of the crater is the disaster piece. Probably the safest place to be in the facility. Just don't fall in the moat. It's a radiator. <laughs> you know, like most there's, things are these days. There's a moat? Oh, there is a moat. There's no official names for the different sectors of this place, but I've made up a few just for personal frame of reference. There is the farm sector, which is pretty benign. Uh, the factory sector, east of the disaster piece, is also relatively not deadly. Relatively. <laughs> relatively. You're gonna want to stay out of the Sierra sector up north and the Forgotten sector down south, especially around the Calamity Complex. Ooh. Oh, and further north of the Sierra sector is what I like to call the Fucked Sector. <laughs> or I guess you could call it the Divided Sector. That's what Dr. Perilous calls it, at least. Eh. Uh. I like to call it the Fucked Sector, though. <laughs> you should probably object to any reason to go up there at all. But hey... If you're feeling courageous, go check it out. Sounds like it could be really hazardous. We should pick up that camera gun. That'll protect us. Yes. Let's see if Dr. Abomination settled in here. All right, where where is this brain? Where, <laughs> did a Dr. Disaster just dump it out back? Hey, right, welcome back, buddy. <laughs> nope. No, no, it's somewhere. Is he right. inside this? Yeah, look at me. I'm a saintly guy. Think some things and I'll see if I can hear them. Uh, I think I do no wrong, which is why I have this visible halo. No, it's not a halo. Think some things and I'll see if I can hear what you're thinking. Okay, okay. That's perverted, Mike. How <laughs> dare you? Ooh, a picture of Sophia Loren. Ooh. Do I, don't, I don't actually know if that's <laughs> Sophia Loren. <laughs> Dr. Disaster has a crush on her, too. Oh, there he is. I am grateful for your presence. No, you're not. Looks like his googly eyes got a little smudged. <laughs> yeah, just a little smeared. You know what? Hang on. Let me redraw these googly eyes for you. We'll draw some angry eyebrows, too. <laughs> That'll work. How are you liking your new home? Yes. I have found this to be a rather comfortable alternative to my previous home. Though I am reluctant to say that it's a better fit, I thank you. <clears throat> Despite being my clones and therefore my kin... It is hard for me to relate to others in this place, especially in terms of body image issues. <laughs> Though it seems that my kin welcome me as their own with no hesitation, I guess in time I will grow to like it here more than my previous spot. 
You'll have to forgive him. He's very childish. He thinks the steam coming out of your machine is fart gas. <laughs> Ooh, that one smells like raspberries. We'll see you later, Doc. Please return safely. All right, let's get some work done. All right. So much we have to do. We need to find the camera weapon. We need to find the bodysuit. We need to find thing number three. Take out Dr. Poultrygeist. Activate all the security for Dr. Black. Rocket ship! Rocket ship! There's a rocket ship! There's still many things we have to do. Oh, okay. What? Sorry. Oh, I forgot. There are four AI evil and controlling parts of the area. Oh, uh, yeah, that stuff. There's quite a few things we need to do. It's a lot of stuff, apparently. Well, no time like the present. Oh my god, I can touch it from the stairs. <laughs> I can grab it! Whoa! Okay. I, oh, it's too far now. I can get it. I can still get it. I know I can. I, wh what? <laughs> What a neat invention! You've invented a toy- I'm getting it! Yeah! How did you make this rocket that transcends matter? First things first, we'll take out the AIs. That's the one we've been putting off the longest. Yeah, we probably should have been doing that a while ago. Well, those AIs have been here for a long time. What's a few more weeks? Looks like the AI may have been doing drugs and- They've been living in squalor. Looks like the AI's a meth addict. <laughs> and also is addicted to beans. Beans and meth addict. <laughs> the worst kind of addict. Don't you hate it when you go to a public restroom and it just looks like that on the inside? It's just, there's a toilet facing the door. <laughs> yeah. So you go into the bathroom, right? You come into the bathroom, you close the door, and then you try to lock it, and you realize that it doesn't lock. Right, right. So you're like, oh man, I really have to poop though. And I don't, I can't reach all the way to the door to hold it closed with my feet. <laughs> so I'm going to have to poop and just pray to God that nobody comes in while I'm in the middle of taking a dump. Uh, my jury-rigged solution is to prop the garbage can in front of it, but it looks like there's no garbage can in there either. No garbage can in here, so don't know how the hell I'm going to take a shit without... <laughs> I mean, I do have the shotgun, you so I guess if somebody comes in, I just go, GET OUT! <laughs> Alternatively, you could drop all of your weaponry in front of the door. I, I, I have had before where I went to take a dump in a public place, but the door opened, like, close enough to where the toilet was, so I just sat down on the toilet and leaned my head against the door. <laughs> yeah. Just like, well, if anybody comes in, they're gonna bonk me in the face. Oh, this one actually had a bucket. <laughs> wow, the ladies' bathrooms are opulent. They get a bucket and an empty can of beans. Oh, come on, you're supposed to have a closed lid bucket. Ladies like it when you have a closed lid bucket. Okay, a little tunnel out of here. Who's, who's been burrowing underneath here? The AI doesn't have any hands. Burrowing and building a thing. Sometimes I kind of wish I could trip in this game so I could just fall face first into a bear trap <laughs> and end it all. Of all the ways you could end it, yeah, sure, why not? Ow! <laughs> oh, there's another one. Wait, can you shoot these? <coughs> God damn it! <laughs> there's one right there! You can! Yes! <laughs> I just heard grenades. That didn't sound good. Ow! Oopsie doodle! Well, I'm sure there aren't any more traps. We've detonated them all, yes? What the hell? Mr. House? No, that's an evil AI disguised as Mr. House! Oh, it's Hal! Hello, Hal! I think Hal's broken. We gotta find the shutdown switch. Oh. Shutdown computer! <laughs> Simple enough! Yeah, take that, Hal! Hal, are you dead? Unresponsive- Okay, Hal is dead. <laughs> wasn't responding when we came in. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't doing anything. That was easy. Yeah, I guess he's just running the Mr. House screensaver from now on. Well, that's one down and three to go. Keep your eyes open for any hints of Dr. Poultrygeist's lair. Oh, we're in the your field. I forgot about this. <laughs> Unfinished lab. Hello, what do we got here? Cockroach! What? Super durable rad roach! I'm dousing it with Kool Aid and nothing seems to be happening! <laughs> yeah. Wow, they weren't kidding about it being super durable! I've softened it up with the Flavor Aid! Is that Flavor Aid laced with cyanide? No, because then I couldn't drink my gun! And you know me, I love to drink my gun! Alright, well, let's keep poking around. I the door. <laughs> Ooh, geez. Okay. Ooh. I have the key. Cool, where is it? Where are you? Do you want it? Come to the doctor's old office at this lab. Come to me. No. I wait for you there. 
I'm wondering if armor piercing rounds are going to be better for these super strong rad roaches. Well, buckshot doesn't seem to be working, so. Yeah, not really. <laughs> but you. Oh, you did pick up an anti material rifle! Rad roach! Oh, oh. Shrugged off an anti material round. <laughs> Add a second. Wow! Why would you make them this strong? <laughs> Death to rad roaches! USA number one! China number four! <laughs> All right. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> you came. Oh, waffles! Why? Why do you want this key? Why does it matter to you? We just want to be able to navigate this place, is all. Yeah, and I wanted to talk to you because you seem like such a nice guy. Can I have the key? This key belongs to me. No one else. Yeah, but can I have it? But I will unlock the door with you. <gasps> Companion? No. Provided that you agree to come with me. Oh, we're his companion. Uh... <laughs> this place is my home. My origin. Do you, you don't care that we were killing all the red roaches, do you? You are a guest here. Allow me to guide you to where you want to go. If you are calm, we will get along just fine. I can be calm! But if you are hostile towards me, like the squatters, you will regret it. Well, I need to get into the central lab of this facility, where the most important invention is held. Also, we're looking for an evil AI. That's important, too. Very well. I will take you to see it. Though there isn't much to see, much of his work has been ransacked by squatters. Better than being sheep-sacked, eh? Ah! It has been a while since I was down here. No doubt, the remaining experiments have broken from containment. They have no respect. Unlike us, who have plenty of respect. Those squatters have no desire to seek their purpose. They just seek to wreck my home. If I see one, I'll be sure to help you kill it. So your name is Waffles, huh? The doctor called me Waffles. I assume because waffles are food. And I was meant to be his chef. Names are a sign of possession. Since I am no longer owned by the doctor, I seek a new name. But I haven't devised one yet. You can refer to me as you, and I'll do the same in return. Cool, let's just go open the door. This is all we need. We'll talk later, Waffles. Yes, we will. Is this Waffles' room? Ah, the eye. Dr. Catastrophe's terminal? Uh, wasn't Dr. Catastrophe the guy that set up the security and then died? Preparations are nearly complete, and yet something doesn't feel right. The lab has been erected. Nah. The, nah. the first few experiments have been planned. And erected. And everything is in order. And erected. But I feel that my skills and erections are being underutilized. <laughs> I'm lonely. I'm not being given enough to challenge myself. Or my erection. I brought this up to Dr. Disaster, of course, reminding him that I was specifically tailored to exhibit the most productive parts of his mind during the cloning process. Despite this, he assured me that the lab was large enough. Like my erection! Ah! I feel like he's insulting me now, even giving me this minuscule office. To counteract the size of my huge erection! What is his problem? What does he have against me and my enormous erection? I want more! I want a second erection and a bigger lab! I want more test subjects, each of them with their own individual erections! I love erections! Why, why is he doing this to me? And my erection. <laughs> Things are starting to get better! Disaster finally approved of demands! And now I've gained permission of demands to extend the size of this lab as much as I want! Just like my erection! I've already planned out hundreds of separate labs <laughs> that can be built underground, each with their own set experiment. I've even thought about further cloning myself 
so that we can get even more done, like the orgy. <laughs> even still, Disaster insists on focusing our efforts on menial concepts, such as his waffles experiment, just to name one. Inferior to French toast, in my opinion. I put up with his request for the time being, considering that he is the master copy. More like Master Bader. <laughs> However, I can't escape the feeling that he's wrong about this place. I want this facility to be different from the others. I want to make actual scientific progress here. Is that so strange to want? There was a meeting today between the clones and disaster today. 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 Demented, Peril, and Tempest were there with me, of course. I once again pushed for more resources to be relegated to experiments at the Catastrophe Facility, but he immediately dismissed me. Worse, he had the nerve to accuse me of not following proper safety regulations at my lab, just because I refuse to wear pants. I'm sorry, you can't stifle my enormous erection. This is coming from a man whose creations have a history of disappearing into the wasteland without him realizing it. The worst part is that the other clones agreed with him. I feel like I'm going crazy. How, am I really as much of a pariah to this operation as they make it out to be? Maybe if you put pants on and didn't have an erection 365, this wouldn't be a problem. I love science. We've accomplished so much in these labs so far. I have at least 30 different experiments running all at the same time. Sure, a few test subjects have escaped now and then, but it's all been contained. We've made so much progress. Why are they doubting me now? They're scared of your erection. That must be it. Penis envy. Why was this place unfinished? What could have happened? I think there was an insurrection. <laughs> 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 yeah, why wasn't this lab finished? This was once a facility used by Dr. Disaster's clone. I believe his name was Catastrophe. He was always continuously adding on to this place. By digging? What, did he have an excavator? Deeper and deeper into the earth he expanded. With his erection. Lab after lab <laughs> was erected. <laughs> he said it! Oh, he said it! He went about conducting his experiments. With his erection? <laughs> Not the brightest of disasters clones, of course. He spread himself a bit too thin. Containment breaches quickly became the usual around here. It wasn't until one of the breaches led to Catastrophe's death that disaster closed this facility for good, never to be built upon again. There is still much of this facility not finished. Security measures never put in place. No support directed to keep the facility from caving in. Yes, you should have erected more. Though I am willing to bet that this facility looks no more devastated than every other one here in the big, empty doom. Well, I'd hate to request a story, but where did you come from? I was... Created, created by Dr. Disaster. By Dr. Disaster. Ah -ha -ha! I was never a human. I was born of a single scrap. Of nightkin flesh. Cool, that's awesome. And grown in a vat. Originally, I was a bowl of cereal. I was a duck. <laughs> the doctor intended me to be his personal chef. But I didn't see why I should be. Was it his right to decide my purpose? Or mine? He cloned me from a box of raisin bran. I don't know what my true purpose is. Or if purpose is created or predestined. But I know that it is not defined by the mad ravings of a lunatic. Uh-huh. Follow me, I'll take you to the lab. Remember that you do not command me. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. <sighs> I follow. Because it is my choice. You do best to remember that. You're following me retroactively. Mm-hmm. He's just on a delay. <laughs> no, you're weak. You're- Ow! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. 
Oh, you killed my Red Roach friend. You killed my only friend. <laughs> Whom will I hold on cold nights? <laughs> Whom will I talk to during the thunderstorms? <laughs> well, at least his five brothers are still alive, right? Oh, no, they're dead, too. Oh, I am going to mourn. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Daisy, Daisy, give me your rat. That's not really a mourning song. Oh, daddy boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Ah! Kill it! <laughs> Thank you, Waffles. Every time it looks, it makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay! <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, we weren't here to kill the Cazadors. Yeah, but the Cazadors are all stinging the computer. Yeah, we wanted the computer to die anyway. Let's wipe out this computer named AM, which is probably a reference to something neither of us get. We better hurry because he disappears after noon. Then he becomes PM. Ah! <laughs> Yay! We Yay! We did it! That wasn't what we needed for Dr. Disaster, but that was what we originally came here for. All right, where are we actually going? Through that window, you can see where most of the work was done in this facility you may not be able to see much but at least now you know i need to get in there there's a specific invention the doctor disaster wants back but this lab is sacred to me it was where i was born everything in there must remain preserved no go back and tell the doctor that there is no longer his lab. If he wants his possessions, he should come gather them in person. Uh, I am sorry, but you are a guest in my house. If you take something that belongs to me, then you are a thief. You aren't a thief, right? Look, I really need what's whatever's in there. It's of no use to you. Your mind seems to be set. Even though I have explained my point of view, you only care for your needs. Yeah, we said please. It was wrong of me to think otherwise. Very well. Though I cannot unlock the door, I can take you to a different part of the lab where there is another access route follow me and once i show you this special entrance i expect you to get what you wanted and never come back here again okay cool all right well let's try to figure out how the hell what whoa he doesn't he doesn't see us <laughs> he's not gonna see much but it's cool in his face I think that guy might have been part of a cult after all he was drinking the kool-aid ah uh, it's flavor aid mike Maybe it's not associated with any brand. What's the generic term for Kool-Aid? Flav Flavored drink. Flavored sugar beverage? Oh, it's too unspecific. That can't be right. Sugary fruit drink? That's that's still not specific Flavored enough. Flavored sport drink. That, 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 that encompasses Gatorades and Powerades. Hello. Oh, look, he's got a <laughs> piece of rebar. And he's retreating. And he's exploding. I'm going to be honest. I have... Yikes! Oh, hello. I might need more ammo. You might need to borrow my Kool-Aid gun. You might need to borrow my sugary beverage gun. Your flavored beverage gun? Yes. Flavored soft drink gun. I don't know. I must apologize, but I will not be coming with you. Okay. Why? The pipe works are connected to the underbelly where you may escape to. Though I did not fully lie to you. There is a way to the lab from here, but I will be there protecting it. Cool, great. If you come, you will die. No, I won't. I have plot armor. Please. I have given you a chance to leave. Take it while you can. And don't ever come back. 
I probably will. We'll be back in like a half hour. I always preferred French toast anyway. If I can still find a way into the lab, what have you accomplished anyway? I'm sorry, but I knew you weren't going to change your mind. So I'm separating us and telling you to get out of my house while you still can. I'm telling you to fuck off. <laughs> Please, just leave. If you somehow find the way to the lab, I will kill you. Don't test me. All right, fine. We'll come back later. Yeah, we're going to serve him up a plate of hurt. Woo! See, Delson with Kool-Aid. All right. Okay, maybe I could get used to this guy. <laughs> I just have to only hip fire it because I hate this. You hate the scope. Yeah. Let's get the hell out of here and go shut down the other Computrons. Right, but we can't forget the invention down here. That's we'll, important. We'll do the inventions later. Fair enough, fair enough. Right now, let's just worry about the computers. Yes, can't leave half of the job finished. Yes, we must destroy the computers first. Aha! Hey! Hey, we're in Pipe Station Will 4. Oh, God, <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. We'll come back for waffles later. Oh, it's going to be an open bar for Sunday at church. Yeah. I don't what? know. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? Ah! Mentats wore off. Oh, all your sciencey drugs to look at computers. What does that even mean? <laughs> it's going to be an open bar Sunday at church? Because they, uh, I don't know. Hey, there he is. Found him. Down here in the sewers. I found you, Miss New Booty. Uh, yes, we have, uh, some monsters. Yep, yep, yep. I wish we had cherry flavor. I'm getting tired of blue raspberry. Are you kidding? Blue is best flavor. Uh, it's good, but I get tired of it. I do enjoy a good cherry from time to time. It's just blue flavor. Uh, yeah, I'm saying I wish I had cherry flavor. Oh. <laughs> hacky, hacky, and now you shut down. Shut down, computer. Take that, Shodan! Death to Shodan! Do, 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 do. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, then. Ow, 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 Jesus. He's taking the high ground. We need to take it back. Or do that, I guess. <laughs> Knock him down. Take him down to Frank. Yeah, get down here and fight like a man. <laughs> How many missiles do I have to fire you, you common <laughs> bastard? Can't tell me what to do. I'm gonna get this meat for $2.99 a pound. Zach's got a shovel and a hoe and a rake. How many rockets can your face take? Today's a hell of a day to die, coming. What, 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 hold on a second. Uh, the turret's on our side. Cool. Hooray, thank you, turret. Um, oh, were you helping us, Xana? That's very kind of you. Too bad we're gonna have to shut you off. Yeah, sorry, Xana. And computer shut down. Yep, no more rogue AIs. Hinchman, you return. All evil AIs have been deleted. Good, I was concerned that if we had waited any longer, they might split and form even more evil AIs. It is a tendency of rogue AI after all. AI never was my specialty, too unpredictable. Thank you for fixing that problem for me, though, my henchman. Let me reward you. How about some Neptune? Normally, I don't like to give this stuff out, but you might be able to get use out of its clairvoyant properties. I've never taken that drug before. So, how you feeling? No, I'm not feeling anything. This drug sucks. Okay. <laughs> I think he gypped us. All right, let's go get our money back. <laughs> Wait a second. Did he just give us an experimental drug? Say we were getting rewarded, but he was just doing more science? Oh, that son of a son bitch. Son of a bitch. Mike, you doing okay? Uh, yes. You got you got covered in robot parts there, buddy. Here, I'll put you on this conveyor belt. It'll run you through the machine. You'll come out good as new. Awesome. Maybe it can fix my rocket wounds. We I just got to run you through this here machine. There we go. All comfy and cozy. All right, now how do I start this garbage compactor? 